everyone welcome to my channel I just recently finished my first official mixed media journal recently this one you can see a flip through of this journal on a link I'll put up above so after three months of mixed media art journaling I decided to do a spread today and start on my new sketchbook so let's prepare the book I got this book for $26 um, Singapore dollars it's a book by a brand called monologue and uh, it has pretty thick paper uh, of 200 GSM is the exact book that I used for my first mixed media journal so I'm just basically using the same one so yeah I'm covering my book with a protective PVC cover as I do with all my current journals so without further ado let's move to my messy working station so just like in my first mixed media journal i started my first spread in the middle of the book instead of the first uh, spread because the first spread just do not want to lay flat so i prefer to work on the middle of the book so i'm one of those mixed media artists who loves to prepare my vocals in advance and here you can see I've categorized them to magazine cuttings uh, printouts that I colored in watercolor and this one in markers so for today I want to do something from this batch this one as for the background, I'm using a leftover of my free uh, magazine that I got from my community. Incidentally, I'm trying to finish off my bottle of decoupage medium. You don't actually need to have that. It's just basically your standard PVA white glue mixed with water. So that's one bottle finished. Understandably, not every part of the page is glued in using that medium. So I am here just using PVA glue to stick all those, you know, missed out edges. And I would like to apologize because I had to on my fan in this room that I was working on because here in Singapore in the middle of June is hot AF. I just had to have some wind in this room. Once dried, I trimmed all those magazine edges using my pen knife and cutting mat. Just running the knife lightly again and again. So lastly here, I'm using my corner puncher to give off all those four corners, a rounded corner. So with that done, I'm now starting the real mess. Starting with gesso. I'm basically just giving it a watery wash because I don't want to push too much of the text behind. So the first colour here I'm using is an acrylic maroon. I'm just bringing it away. Really I have no plans on this as it is always with mixed media journaling. I always go with the flu, whatever goes. So with the brain technique, always the spine is left out. So usually I'll just push it off with water to cover it and blend it together. I'm here I'm using my navy blue colour.
So next I'm using my, uh, my own created stencil, a design of gears. It's pretty thin uh, stencil, so it gives off a very thin um, layer of the modeling base that I'm using here. So here comes my mistake. Here I actually used a spray that contains black acrylic ink. You can see why I say it's a mistake later in this part of the video. I'm basically just giving it some dripping effect. Here's another DIY stencil that I do, uh, some chevron markings. I actually got this set of 10 Myla sheets for stencil making, but apparently when I got it delivered, I found a stencil sheet too thin for mixed media journaling, but I just went along with it because I thought I'll just use it as long as I can, you know, take care of it and not destroy it. So here I'm just trying out places to put my focal image and I'm using my ultra matte gel to paste it down. Using my brown Bombay ink, I tried to give these barrels some shadow. So once dried, I trimmed off the protruded focal image using my scissors. So here I'm realizing my mistake of using that black acrylic ink on those gears. So I'm succumbing to my motto, splatter when you're blocked out. Using my favorite medium for that, watercolor. So next I try to save the darkness of the barrels using my white gel pen to give them some highlights. I'm not the best at giving highlights but oh well, at least I tried. So unsatisfied, I tried using my Ranger Oxide yellow ink to give it some yellowish glow. Again, I tried using my brown India ink to give them, give some parts of the barrel some shadow. Then I thought, since I had some yellow here, I thought why just not put some yellow stuff here and there. And I tried giving some just watery yellow wash at the top. And initially I thought using that yellow wash on those gears was a good idea because it kind of highlighted some of the gears. Again here I'm trying to splatter some yellow to save the day. I 
and then I try to retouch all those white highlights again with my white gel pen. So come the title of the spread, I'm using my stencil by Simply Stencils. I'm using orange for that. So I tried to stencil in the acrylic paints using my sponge dabber that I got from Daiso. But then I realized that I had washed it and it's still wet. So here I replaced it with my dry sponge and it resulted a bit better. I was just simply tracing back those two letters to retouch them. which I recolored the stencil in alphabets using my paintbrush to give it a much sharper and saturated color. Unsatisfied, I tried to give this bread more splatters to brighten it up, bearing in mind to cover and protect my barrels from getting the splatters. Next, I use my charcoal pencil to outline the title. just rub it off with my finger to give it that shadowy effect. Still, I was not satisfied with how my two barrels, my focal image, kind of not pop out from the, from the spread. So my next idea was to use my crayons, my cheap oil pastel crayons. So I prepared the two colors, orange and yellow. More splatters. I had created this bunch of journaling quotes that I collated and printed on sticker papers, some on white background and some on black. So far, I only did two fonts. Although yes, since I used my inkjet printer to print them, some of them got rather smeared when I tried to spray them with my hairspray to apparently fix them. And here I've chosen my quotes for this print. So basically, I'm just trimming out that long quote into three parts. And then use my gel medium to secure them so it won't fall off despite it being stickers. Again, I tried giving them an underlying charcoal pencil to give it some shadow. So that's it. I didn't want to continue because I do not want to go overboard with this spread. And I think it's better than it was. A bit brighter. Even though my first idea was to give the whole spread a dark, grungy background because it was basically toxic. But nonetheless, I'm quite happy with it. So thank you guys for watching. Happy journaling. Bye.